The downfall of the Vlog Squad. It seemed though in 2019 the Vlog Squad were well on their way of becoming the largest group of content creators we have ever seen. Led by David Dobrik and his crazy shenanigans, each vlog he posted was racking up to 20 million views per video, which was insane given how often David was posting. Each vlog consisted of vlog squad members doing something crazy, whether it was jumping a Tesla off a curb or trying to escape David's insane flamethrower. He said, give me your keys. I said, okay. <laughs> yes, amen. <laughs> the problem was, when you put a group of deranged people together, you tend to have inevitable conflict within that group. In present day, many of our favorite vlog squad members are no longer in David's circle and are living their own separate lives. How did this happen though? Today, we are analyzing the downfall of the vlog squad. For the purpose of this video, we are going to focus on the core vlog squad members, which consisted of David, Natalie, Jason, Toddy, Scott, Zane, Trisha, Jeff, Carly, Aaron, and Corinna. To start off, the first person to leave the vlog squad was Trisha Paytas. She was known for her public relationship with David's best friend, Jason Nash, and after her breakup with Jason, she was basically kicked out of the squad. After her exit, Trisha exposed David and opened up about how he would go too far with his insults and jokes, having no remorse for any of it. Just to give an example, there was a time when David snuck into Jason and Trisha's hotel room and tried to film them doing, you know what, without Trisha's consent. She was visibly upset about the attempted prank, but David obviously just thought it was a joke. Trisha is no longer talking with any of the vlog squad members and is focusing on her own separate journey now. Next, we have Carly and Aaron. They both currently don't have any public friendships with vlog squad members, as there was drama in the lead up to Aaron's wedding. Aaron was worried about the implications of COVID-19 during her wedding, since there was going to be a large gathering of people. She wanted everyone to be vaccinated, but Zane, Heath, and Mariah, Heath's girlfriend, refused to do so. Aaron tried to compromise with them and suggested they can just take a COVID-19 test, but they also refused that. Imagine your closest friends refuse to take a simple COVID test which takes less than a minute and not caring about being a part of the biggest day of your life. Carly being Aaron's best friend also took the same stance as her and isn't the biggest fan of the unfiltered crew. Now moving on to the moment in which David was truly exposed for who he is, we have the Jeff Wittek accident. In the summer of 2020, David Dobrik was illegally operating an excavator in a shallow lake while Jeff Wittek swung from a rope attached to the end of the excavator arm. When Dobrik started spinning the rope too fast, Jeff hit the excavator and fell into the water upside down with his foot stuck in the rope. This gruesome accident left Jeff with various injuries such as breaking his foot and hip, tearing a ligament in his leg, shattering his skull in nine places, and almost losing an eye. Wittek said these injuries will affect him lifelong as he has to get eye surgery once or twice a year just to maintain his vision. How did David feel about this? Jeff said David had no remorse for the accident as he distanced himself from Jeff, not even texting him for a whole week after the accident. Ever since this incident, there's been a lot of criticism at Vlog Squad members who allowed David to do something like this and not taking the incident serious in the moment. In June 2022, Jeff finally took legal action by suing David for $10 million for general negligence and intentional tort. Jeff said he's done being quiet about the story and wants his truth to be heard of what David did to him. As you can guess, Jeff is no longer on speaking terms with David or any of the other Vlog Squad members. This accident was a key moment in which created a lot of separation between members and them taking a break from creating content with each other. There is so much more drama that we could talk about pertaining to the vlog squad. There is also the Dom's sexual allegations that were supposedly covered up by David's team. There's the truth behind David's assistant Natalie and how mean she is to other vlog squad members behind the scenes. If you would like a more in-depth breakdown of those incidents, make sure to like for a part two in summary though, all this drama and toxicity between various members is what led to the vlog squad not being together on camera anymore. It seems everyone went their separate ways content-wise, and if members do choose to hang out, it would be off camera. It's been well over a year since David posted a vlog, and it seems that will not change anytime soon.